Someone sent me this video, a video of a girl that looks really similar to Jennifer Anthony having a bath from what looks like a bowl of blood. I will show you the video in a moment. And for those who don't know what we are talking about, Jennifer Anthony is a girl who recently started making news after being allegedly murdered by her 20 years old boyfriend Moses Oko on New Year's Eve or around New Year's Day. It was said that she was found in a hotel with her eyes plucked out. And then it was said that Moses ran away. However, just a few days ago, we reported that Moses had been found and arrested by the Nigerian police force. It was said he was found in a mental institution at an undisclosed location. Now, so far, the boy has not uttered a word. He has not said anything. Even when he was being paraded, the press came to ask him questions, but he didn't say anything. He kept looking like he's insane. His father was also questioned in a, in a press conference and he, you know, revealed that his son is insane. He is going on with the, whatever this is. The father is confirming that his son is having a mental issue. In as much as many of us believe that he's acting and pretending, there are a few people who think that whatever sacrifice he tried to use his girlfriend's eyes to do backfired and made him mad. But if this video someone sent me is true, then I don't believe this boy is mad for sure. I believe this is him acting still. I believe this is him faking, not just to protect himself, but to protect many other people who could also be involved in the death of this girl. I am starting to believe that this boy is not working by himself. I am starting to believe that he is not working alone. I am starting to think that someone sent him. Someone is a puppet master controlling him, telling him what to do and how to do it. So in this video, we see a girl that looks like Jennifer. I am not 100% sure she's the one because her face is not looking directly at the camera. But the person who sent it to me is very certain that she's the one. He claimed or she claimed that he would recognize her anywhere. For one, they had the same hairdo as to the video in the, uh, of her in the vehicle dancing. Same hairdo she had when she was found dead. This harsh colored hair. Although in this video it was packed up so that you know she could bathe properly. But they've pointed out that it's the same hairdo and the same fingernails. She is very naked in this video, so it's unclear to match her clothes. But I'm guessing this might also be the same clothes found here that is said to be hers, covered in blood and found in the possession of her 20 years old boyfriend who has been accused of killing her. Another thing you would notice in the video is that there is a second bow. There is a second bow, and there is somebody behind her also baiting. I'm not sure who that person is but i want to guess the person might be a girl too because when you zoomed in you could see that she had some kind of feminine shape so there is another person behind this girl also baiting the similar type of water that this girl who is supposedly to be jennifer is baiting so if these two people are baiting this what is this about what is this about is it some kind of fetish preparation possible that Moses had brainwashed Jennifer thinking doing that was going to get them both a lot of money or get them both a lot of success. Not knowing that he was actually just preparing her for some sort of sacrifice. So if this video is true, there is a chance that there is someone else involved. Maybe that might be Moses, but who else is filming? Somebody else is clearly filming. So there is a possibility that there are more people involved in the death of Jennifer. And the silence of this young man here is not only to protect himself, but to protect everyone else who could be implicated. This is a 20 years old boy. He can't even wash his boxers without someone telling him to do so. Definitely someone was controlling him. Someone was manipulating him. Those people had probably taken his voice spiritually or they had urged him to stay quiet, promising him that he would get away with it. I hope the police do a thorough job because I believe there is so much more to the death of Jennifer Anthony.